So, now that all that's been sorted out, let us enter the door right here. Have to admit, I have trouble with this boss. More so than Cerberus, so this should be interesting with commentary. Let's go right in. The Firestorm Chamber. you didn't get the hint, I'll spell it out. Your guest wants to go through. Got it? Our job here is to go on this pool. That's right. We can't let you pass. So we don't get just one boss, we get two bosses. This is Agni and Rudra. And my god, do I have trouble with them. Already. Already got hit from the start, and I'm already- oh, oh god, I went in with half health, I just realized that. That is not good. So they actually have quite a few similar moves or um, mechanics to the very first boss fight, or technical boss fight, which was the Grim Reaper type enemy. Now, one thing I recommend wholeheartedly, I actually recommend that you try to get both of them down to the same amount of health. So, if you keep on whacking on one, it's actually recommended, I, will, I actually recommend to get the other down to the same amount of health when you can, because if you take out one and not the other, something bad happens, and it's not fun, and when you're actually focusing on one of them, the other one actually tends to mostly stay out of it, so that is awesome, that is very very good. I like to do this shockwave sort of attack, which is kind of nice, I guess. And I actually switched to Swordmaster, you see there, and he actually lost his sword, which means I get a bunch of hits on him. Stinger, 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 million stabs. Actually, that's just million stabs, but whatever. Still feels good, and I'm actually getting uh, Rudra, I believe that one is, down to quite a bit of health. So I am going to beat up on his brother a little bit. And they're going to do their thing, and their camera went off them for a second, which was not helpful at all. I have no idea why it did that. So, let us try to dodge. Oh god, one more hit, and I'm probably dead. Oh god, no! I have a chance! And yeah, I'm, de <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> god damn it. Well, that's what I get for going in with half health, I guess, so let's just continue and I will meet you back at near the same point where the health was at. Okay, so now that I got them down to near the same health as last time and get immediately stabbed when I start talking, of course, I actually have the same amount of health I think I started with, with it when I started this fight, so whatever that means, I guess it's good. And I honestly, I honestly don't mind dying to bosses and then showing it because obviously there's a limit and he's decided to activate his sword and whoa that was a large hit so I'm probably gonna die in a second anyway I actually don't mind showing bosses or when I die on bosses because what I think that what's important for a good um, action game is that you like you always nearly die on the first boss and I should probably mention why it's a bad idea to have them have one on almost all health and one with no health because this happens he is straight up akimboing those swords now so he's got the power of wind and fire and oh god I'm already dead <laughs> I'm almost already dead let's see if I can take him down with no health nope doesn't look like it so yep, yeah, their power increases exponentially when that happens. Or his power, I guess. 
I don't know if you count up as two heads, but... Very quickly before I continue, I'll just go on with that point I was trying to make before, is that I feel like what's very important with, like, um, third-person character action games especially is when you show bosses is... Not to feel bad about dying on them, because that's what makes a good character action game good. You find you die on the bosses first, then you learn like their patterns, you learn like their secrets, and then you improve by fighting them over and over again. It's a matter of uh, it's a it's a matter of trial and error and figuring out what works best. So like that time, I actually worked better because um, I was able to study their attacks and react accordingly, but. Once again, I shall meet you to when he reaches his second stage, if that happens. So I almost got them down! That's one down! And that's two down! The strategy worked in the end! Wait! Yes, wait! We have been waiting for a long time! Yes, a very long time. For someone stronger than us. Someone who can control us. My name is Agni, and my name is Rudra. You shall take us with you. We can be a great help to you. Okay, but on one condition. What is it? Name it! No, talking. Fair enough, as you wish. No talking. Good. And with that, we gain Adni and Rudra, blades with serrated edges that hold for fire and tornado-like gusts. Very, very nice. So now, we got a new weapon to play with, which unfortunately we have to equip when we're allowed to, because unfortunately we're only allowed two weapons. And, I guess one little bit of tidbit that I can actually say, uh, that is the runway, I believe, I believe we want to go, yeah, <laughs> I think we want to go to the extremely evil looking door over there, is that, but the uh, tidbit I want to actually want to say, which is a nice little easter egg, if anyone's played um, Phoenix Wright Dual Destinies, which is the fifth Phoenix Wright game that came out on 3DS, there was actually a little easter egg with Agni and Rudra, where they uh, mentioned that Apollo and, I think, Athena, which would be called Adni and Rudra, and be a comedy du duo. So, that was the most little easter egg that they put in that game. But with that, mission cleared. <laughs> we seem to be keep on getting S ranks for orbs and items used, and another B rank. You know what, B rank, I'll take it! And we get a nice boss bonus out of it as well, so I think this is a good time to save.